Yeah, so that was a super fun project to kind of put together. It was just really different and fun, kind of refreshing. Um, so I initially found my inspiration from Amicucci's article first about the implications of social media and how that can be transferred to college writing, especially since the teaching of writing is something that I'm really, really interested in. So I learned a lot from all the sources that I chose, um, just kind of thinking, thinking about new ways in which you know, we could talk to students about the kinds of writing they're doing on social media and how it can be applied and transferred to like composition classes, to writing assignments, because I feel like all too often we hear students saying in writing classes, like, I'm never going to use this. My field doesn't use writing. And I think it creates more of a touchstone for students to understand, like, no, like this idea of, you know, enacting in a different identity in your writing of, appealing to a certain audience like that's a those are universal writing practices that are used across the board in all disciplines in all fields so i think having a common ground such as social media can actually be could actually be really helpful for a lot of writers i think you know in my own goals of being a writing educator you know getting a phd and maybe teaching college writing someday like th these are definitely going to be some things that i continually think about simply because you know, you have as an educator, you have to adapt to what's going on around you. And, you know, even though like the text talk may be impacting the kinds of language and the ideas that students are bringing to the table, like we have to find a way to use that to our advantage to still foster growth in students. So I think it's definitely an important takeaway for current educators and future educators. So another fun part of this project is I use TikTok. I don't really use TikTok. I have the app simply just so I can watch the ones that my mom sends me. So definitely it was a little bit of an adjustment. I decided that I wanted to just keep it simple and have it be more conversational rather than having a bunch of clips and a voiceover. I tried to make sure all of them had captions. Um, but also, you know, I had some issues with some sound. My first two, when I played them in class, I didn't realize, you know, how loud the volume of the music was compared to me speaking and I didn't realize that you know the music cut off at some point but I honestly think this was really fun because it was it was a challenge to make these kind of scholarly sources feel more educational and more approachable so I think that was one affordance of the medium that I chose simply it it made it more accessible and now it's online for the world to see if anybody cares <laughs> thanks